Another day, another Taylor Swift stalker does something crazy in her house. Um, yesterday, Roger Alvarado, his name was, is was arrested after allegedly breaking into Taylor Swift's New York City brownstone, it is reported. And then what's so crazy is that he took a shower and a nap. Like after breaking into her house, he took a shower and a nap. She has had so many within just the last month, people doing strange and terrifying things to her, you know, threatening her family. We'll talk about those more in detail. But first, thoughts, five words or less. Like the Selena Gomez video? This talking is tiring. Eat, sleep, and shower. Yeah. What an awesome Airbnb. &E. Breaking and entering. Oh, right. <laughs> Guys, that was really smart. That one was good. Yeah, thank oh, I like you. that. I know, in the Selena Gomez video for Hands to Myself, it's uh, her playing a stalker of an actor. Stop Ooh. bringing it back to Selena Gomez. Well, I'm just saying that, like, I, you, it, it's always felt, felt like the video was sort of weird because, like, oh, she's just taking a bath and what sleeping in this right. guy's bed. And then this story came out. I was like, it's literal. Oh, they might have done some research into what possible yeah. hey, stalker conspiracy. Would, there you just go. Just to bring it back to Selena Gomez again, what would Selena? Selena Gomez say about you bringing Selena Gomez up, Grace? She'll probably say, don't make this about me and be sensitive to the topic because this is serious. Thank you. Actually, bringing back to Selena again, <laughs> she she also had a stalker. I, I was looking up all the celebrities that have had like pretty bad stalkers. She had one that apparently, um, when he went to court, he was like, yes, put a restraining order against me because I can't stay away from her. I will never stop trying. Wow, that's, yeah. that's, that's some scary. That's yeah. what they did. Did they like, of course they did Yeah, that. yeah, so he obviously has a restraining well, order, but, um, uh. but yeah, I mean, you know, Taylor Swift is not the only one, and it's pretty scary yeah. what these people say that they're gonna do. I mean, I read another one about Justin Bieber. Um, apparently, these guys who were in, incarcerated at the time basically said when they got out, they were going to find Justin Bieber and essentially like cut his balls off I'll find and like you. keep them. Did they do? Did they say they were gonna do that out of love? No, like, no, they no. They're like, like it him. would be a cool thing. It would be like a cool thing just, to get from Justin Bieber. I, yeah, I, like, they're, like, yeah, like there's some weird, weird people that are willing to do very bizarre things to celebrities. Oh, this gosh. is kind. Of, I, I don't think anyone's privacy or their you, no one should have their home invaded by yeah. a psycho or anyone for that matter. However, um, whenever this, whenever I read these stories, I'm like, why is this news? Like, well, like seriously, like okay, someone broke into Taylor Swift's brownstone. It's really serious, though. I mean, what it is, no, it is no, oh, it yeah. is, no, it is serious though. But like, the thing is, she wasn't home, all right? And then so, yeah, also she's never home. Yeah, the guy she has too many homes. She can't I, be in all of them. Yeah. And the guy, he, <laughs> the odds he, are she won't be home. Yeah, he <laughs> slept and ate in her house. And it's like, okay, great. Now, if I was gonna break into someone's house, right? Yes. I would, uh, yeah, I would try on their clothes. I would spray their cologne, their perfume. I would definitely see what's in their fridge. I would, yeah. I mean, just, if you're gonna break in, go hard or go home. I think literally. also why literally. this like we the, should do, the, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. I, well, I just think why these stories sort of stick out is because you you sort of assume that celebrities have the highest insecurity mm -hmm. and in uh, the oh, state a, of the she's, art she's technology. All right. And um, so it's always sort of shocking that a stalker could get that far. And I remember I used to work for a guy that lived uh, in a gated community with a whole bunch of other celebrities, and I was his assistant, so I would report there every day. And behind this gated community, within in these grounds or whatever, mm -hmm. Jennifer Lawrence lived there, and Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher also lived there. And you would like see other, and I think Nicole Kidman was like up around. <coughs> and this might have been one of their like 18 houses. I have no idea. I didn't see all of them all the time, but like you would see them periodically. Yeah. And unfortunately. I realized how easy it was to get in through yeah. the gate. Uh, and <coughs> even I was, you know, I had a job to do, but like sometimes I would bring like Lizzie with me because I had awful hours and I wanted to spend time with my girlfriend at the time. <laughs> and so Lizzie would just come with me and I'd be like, hey, sorry, like this is my friend. Like, what if it wasn't? What if she was a stalker if, that was yeah. obsessed with Jennifer Lawrence? <laughs> and because he knew me, you but know, it, it, it's it is like it was, easier than I was thought. surprised how easy it was to gain access to like high profile celebrity and like at home. Have you ever gotten, a, wait, you're gonna say, no, what's the question? Go have you ever gotten like, like what's the creepiest you felt? about a celebrity? Like the closest, like have you ever seen one and been like, all right, here's how I'm gonna go and like have an opportunity to talk Holly to Berry. them? Berry, yeah. Really, but what happened? She was at the Beverly Center. And um, at a lower, there used to be a L'Oreal store and she was a spokesmodel for, no, sorry, for Revlon, but mm -hmm. anyways. Um, and she was there, and I, I'm like, I'm not a shy guy. Like if I, my thing is you only live once, if I'm, if I'm a fan of your work, yeah. I'm gonna say, hey, I'm a fan of your work, you know. So I went up to her, I was like, hey, Hallie, oh my gosh, you were great, Monsters Ball, terrible movie. But uh, she was like, thank you so much, stupid Oscar yeah, winner. And my friends were like, dude, 
it took you, it took so much balls to do that. I'm like, no, it didn't. It's Halle Berry, and she was super oh my nice. Oh gosh, see, I'm I'm the opposite of you. Like when I see, I actually did see her the other day. Yeah. She was literally. No, yeah. I'm not kidding. Where she was, yeah. she was connected. She was at a plant store looking for succulents. She's just like <laughs> us, you guys. She's just like us. But I. Like when I see a celebrity, I get so nervous and so starstruck that I just like, I literally like my hands get sweaty. Like I get really hot and I'm just like, I cannot believe that like a person that you just literally see in, in movies is standing right in front of you buying succulents at a plant True store. story, Darren ended up eating the succulent. <laughs> she just lost her mind and just like, just oh God. Handle it. Just couldn't over. handle it. Howie, aloe is so good for you, watch. And then you just start cutting it open. And look, look, it makes the, <laughs> on your face. the skin Forget secret. Revlon. I'll give you a skin secret this time. <laughs> Oh God! She's gorgeous. By yeah, she's she gorgeous. Stunning. To bring it back though to, to Taylor Swift, it is crazy how many people, in such a short period of time, this guy whose name is obviously made up, Julius Sandrock. Yep. Um, he <laughs> was found with a sinister collection of items, including masks, gloves. First of all, masks. What a dumb word. It sounds like <laughs> gas escaping. Masks, uh, gloves, rope, and a knife. Frank Andrew Hoover threatened murder of her family. Bruce Rowley allegedly robbed a bank, then drove to Taylor's house and started throwing money over her fence into Taylor's house. So this, some of them just seem really mean. Yeah. Others seem like you have a mental disorder. How yeah, do you clearly. reconcile that? If you're the celebrity and someone like shows up in your house like with a bathrobe. You just say, hey, Things I don't well like you, security is one. You know you I you make a great point about not have about you would think that these stars have the most the highest level of security, yeah. but they don't. Also because they don't they don't sometimes see themselves as as big a stars as they are. I'm sure Taylor Swift does. But if someone showed up to my house, like remember the pooper, the chick that was pooping across the country in people's homes and stuff like that. Oh, I don't oh, remember that. Yeah, on their lawn. Yeah, on Thank their you lawn. for reminding yeah. me. That sounds amazing. Right. You know, she in, in I think it was in Colorado and in New York and New York State. Um, you just you <laughs> say hey. Her. Thanks for the love, and then lock your door and keep it moving. At that point, yeah. At that point, I'm pulling for the pooper. Like I want her to get to every house. No. And also, like, <laughs> it's so benign. Yeah. It's creepy, but it's so benign. It's like I just want to poop at Mariah Carey's house. Oh, that'd be no, obvious. That would, that that'd be would glorious. Make, I mean, like that would really. I know it's like sounds funny, but it would really creep you. Out. Like, oh, it, would it be, definitely would okay. creep you out. Okay. But like. Here's the thing is I'm sure like when I watch HGTV and I see like <laughs> nice bathrooms I'm like good job. Mm -hmm. I bet you that Mariah Carey has the most soothing bathroom to take a dookie in. Probably with like a heated and seat. And like a high powered flusher yeah, so you're not worried it's going to with you different know, not levels. Go down. I yeah. bought one. I bought a bidet. <laughs> Where did this conversation go? <laughs> About just what people like showing you know up what? to your You know what? You brought up Selena Gomez five different you're times. Right. So right. let us bring up toilets. Thank you're you. Right. Let, let us have it. I let bought us have a, a Rondel swash. I spent multiple hundred dollars on a toilet seat cover and it's the best damn investment I've it ever made. It is. You made. can't go back to cold seats after that. Washes, <laughs> dries, wow. heats. Mm -hmm. Guess what else? Did I mention washes and dries? Yeah. Now my thing is, does Night it like light. slam down? Mm. Like if you like, it's okay, like a, I need that. It's because because I'm it slams it down. It's I can't the best. It. it puts out like this nice blue light. And then for Ooh. me, our our light switch is has the fan built in. <laughs> So to save my wife from having me wake her up with turning on the light in the bathroom, I don't have to. There's a little blue alien nightlight. You gotta love it.